My name is Dennis Harvey and I operate Harvey Gardens. But here at Harvey Gardens we grow uh, mainly a demonstration garden, a little bit of everything, especially to show and demonstrate to people how things grow. And we grow some unique things such as gourds and we can make orna pro ornamental projects out of them. But the main thing we grow here is different kinds of food because no matter what's going on, we have to have different kinds of food. Anything from the everyday tomatoes, cabbage, corn, to something as unique as asparagus. We show them how to grow eggplants and a lot of things that people don't know that they can grow at home right here in an area urban area and they don't have to have a lot of space so we can grow it in the soil in the garden in the land or we can grow it in a container garden right on a deck or outside your door if you live in an apartment so that's uh, awesome and it's good to see people's faces when they find out that hey I can do this and it can lead to other things and then they will come back and even teach me sometimes and it's an honor to have Virginia State University to visit Harvey Gardens this year for the first time with high school students. And knowing that Mr. Heath is bringing students here, it makes me sharpen my game. I have to be on top of it and make me think uh, critically on what to tell, how to teach. And uh, it doesn't hurt that my wife is a teacher also, so I had to do that. I volunteer with Richmond City Extension and have taught gardening and teach gardening in uh, penal institutions, churches, elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, and right now with the City of Richmond I've taught in their Master Gardening Program. I taught in the City of Richmond's first Master Gardening Program. I happen to be a Master Gardener myself since 1988 and right now the volunteer work that I do is with a facility called Peter Paul Development Center where I teach third graders how to grow their own food and that's magic and it's magical for me too because being 70 years old and have a relationship with the younger ones uh, maybe keeps me young as well so this is uh, a great thing to do in the city of Richmond and I've seen community gardens and urban gardens expand in Richmond since I've been doing this in the 70s and 80s, so I'm proud of that. If you get one tomato, it's a good year. And think of what you did, uh, correct or wrong. Each year is going to be a learning process, but don't get frustrated and don't get uh, uh, disappointed that your product that you grow in your garden doesn't look like the beautiful magazine that it does. It's still a good idea. It's a good project. And I always tell young people uh, that it's good for them to do it because the number of farmers are decreasing. And how we keep this thing going is through young people and I always teach a child at an early age. And I like to teach young people that because once they have a relationship with their food, they will tend to eat better and be healthier.